Would you believe it or not, inside this little box, 52 chicken dinners. And that's what these guys have been waiting in line for. In fact, you got in line a little early. They wouldn't let you. What time did you get here? 10 o'clock uh, Tuesday night, I think. Tuesday night, and they wouldn't let you in the parking lot until when? Uh, Wednesday morning. So being the caring husband you are, I assume you just went, got yourself a hotel room, and kids. Where did you spend that 12, 13 hours? In front of uh, Chick-fil-A on the sidewalk. <laughs> they stayed in their car for no. 12 hours. Oh, oh, no. oh, no, you didn't even stay in your car. We stayed <laughs> on the sidewalk. It's chicken! <laughs> but it's Chick-fil-A chicken. They are happy cows. They attract happy, hungry people. They focus on a single message, eat more chicken. Chicken for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, six days a week. Except on Sunday. Five, four, three, two, one! Eat more chicken! S. Truett Cathy, founder and chairman of Chick-fil-A, started his restaurant career in 1946 when he and his brother Ben opened a restaurant called The Dwarf Grill, later renamed The Dwarf House. In 1967, Kathy opened the first Chick-fil-A restaurant inside Atlanta's Greenbrier Shopping Center. Today, Chick-fil-A is the second largest quick-service chicken restaurant chain in the United States, based on close to $2 billion in sales in 2005. While many businesses commonly use the four P's in their recipe for success, product, price, place, and promotion, at Chick-fil-A, two additional P's are central in the marketing strategy planning process. Chick-fil-A's purpose guides the company's strategy planning process, and Chick-fil-A's people are key to implementing its strategy. As a marketer, you have to think about the four P's constantly. Of course, the central P is the product itself. Foundational to the Chick-fil-A brand is the fact that we make our food fresh. We make it daily, and in this case, we make it literally every few minutes. We make just enough inventory to be able to sell. And with that, we find that we can do this because of the Chick-fil-A operators. The customers will reward you if you make the very best product. We believe that making from scratch, in the case here of the Chick-fil-A sandwich, is what customers really want. And that philosophy applies not only to the Chick-fil-A sandwich, but all the items on our menu. And so as you craft a product, consider using the very best resources that you can. You know, the whole idea of, of a plain chicken breast in a bun, two crucial pickles, what, what's so complicated about that? And what True would tell you was nothing. That's probably why I was able to come up with it. <laughs> and that's pretty much a quote. But the simplicity of the product the quality of the product, I think, was huge, and it set the tone for the entire menu. Our old menu is simple, but it's high quality. Chick-fil-A's menu strategy is straightforward. We actually follow a two-prong approach. First, we offer what we call a menu of choice. And with that, for customers that are very focused on nutritional goals and health, we offer a variety of items. We have our freshly made Chick-fil-A salads, choice of four. We have Cool Wraps, we have Diet Lemonade, and other items there. For customers that are, are less focused on that area and want to experience the classical Chick-fil-A items, like the Chick-fil-A sandwich or a waffle potato fries, we have those items. And then we even have some indulgent items, like our new Chick-fil-A milkshakes. We're totally here for the chicken! <laughs> I would say hi, Mom, but she's right there. <laughs> I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Over the years, Chick-fil-A has developed a loyal customer following who have come to expect consistent quality menu offerings, and these customers have proven that they are willing to pay full price for a quality meal. Chick-fil-A's pricing strategy is straightforward. We use the freshest ingredients we can find. We literally make the food fresh daily in our restaurants and we charge only enough profit to satisfy our costs as well as to be able to grow the business. Pricing is not just about the product itself, it's about the overall experience that you have when you come to a restaurant. It's the service level that you have, the cleanliness of the restaurant, the speed of the experience, 
And so we actually price our products to be able to deliver a total restaurant experience. Because we've discovered if we do things the right way, whether it's food, register, store design, whatever, people are willing to pay for it. They're willing to pay for better quality, better ingredients, better environment, and they're willing to pay full price. While many Chick-fil-A customers may have only seen Chick-fil-A's in malls throughout the Southeast, the chain has enjoyed significant growth throughout the country over the last several years. We're now in 38 states, almost 1,300 locations. We're growing at roughly 70 to 80 stores a year. Most of those are freestanders now. There are some of them a uh, neighborhood of uh, 15 or so a year are what we call licensed locations, which are usually universities or hospitals or um, airports. Um, and they're run by uh, concessionaires who own the rights uh, of those sites. But all the rest of the stores are Chick-fil-A owned and we sublease them to the independent operator who is an independent contractor. Um, they have no capital uh, in the in the restaurant, we put up all the money, but they they sublease the restaurant from Chick Fil A, and after they pay us a percentage off the top, then after all their expenses, half the bottom line is theirs. So it's it's a cash flow deal for them. Uh, they're putting sweat equity into it. We're putting the investment. We bring the know-how and and the support systems, whether it's marketing or operations or accounting or whatever. Uh, to support the brand that they in effect, they've in effect leased from us. When it comes to promotion, Chick-fil-A relies on its quirky renegade cows who are on a self-preserving mission to get consumers to choose chicken over beef. They entertain commuters with humorous roadside billboards. They pose for calendars and family portraits. And they get personal with the customers. Customers can't get enough. In focus groups, respondents rate the cows as one of the three things they like best about the Chick-fil-A brand, the other two being the food and the company's policy of being closed on Sundays. You know, about 12 years ago, we were really struggling a little bit in the area of promotion. We knew our job was to get the name of Chick-fil-A to be very recognizable, but we were outspent by our major competitors by a ratio of about 70 to 1. And when you're outspent 70 to 1, it's a real challenge. So what we found in that situation is we needed a good partner, which we found in the Richards Group, and you need a great idea. And we went through a lot of good ideas, and then one day the Richards Group walked in the room and they presented this idea to us, the Eat More Chicken Cows. Now, we immediately recognized this as a great billboard idea. And we immediately decided to do it, even though we didn't have the budget, it wasn't in the plan, and in all honesty, it was a little off strategy at the time. But when you recognize a great idea, you got to run with it. And we ran with it. Now, I think the real leap forward was not the billboard itself, which worked fabulously. It debuted in 1995. But it was recognizing that that idea was more than a billboard idea, because we'd had a lot of good billboard ideas along the way, but recognizing it was the seed of a campaign. So since that time, that one billboard that was erected in uh, 1995 in Atlanta has become thousands of billboards across the country. It's become TV commercials, radio commercials, plush cows, calendars, merchandise, POP materials in the stores. It's becoming a, a campaign that's taken on a life all of its own. Introduced in 1998, Chick-fil-A's cow calendars have become a marketer's dream come true. Sales have increased from the 337,000 of the first calendar to the 1.5 million of the 2006 Renaissance-themed calendar titled Cows in Shining Armor. The calendars sell for $5 and contain Chick-fil-A food and beverage coupon offers. The coupons provide customers added value. Chick-fil-A customers are as crazy over the product line as the bovine stars that promote it. The, the cows today have become kind of the, the corporate personality for Chick-fil-A. They are for us what Dave Thomas was for Wendy's. It's become kind of the essence of the Chick-fil-A brand in terms of it adds what we call unexpected fun to the personality of our brand. A two-time winner of the best kids meal in America, recognized by Hospitality Magazine, 
Chick-fil-A continues a commitment to enriching children's lives with the kids' meal premiums. It's interesting, our approach to kids' meals. A number of years ago, we were very frustrated in the area of kids' meals. Uh, we had what we called trinkets and trash. We did the same things everyone else was doing. We would want to tie into movies or tie into the latest fad. And, uh, and our kids' meal sales were very, very low at the time. And so one day, in, in kind of a fit of frustration almost, we, uh, we did a little off-site meeting where we decided to redefine what we wanted to do with kids' meals. And somebody made the comment that year that uh, the following year, we were going to do about 15 million kids' meal premiums. And, and they said, you know what? We have an opportunity to send a message to 15 million kids. What kind of message would we want to send? And so it was about that point in the meeting that we kind of took off our Chick-fil-A hat and we put on our hat as parents because fortunately, everybody working on kids' meals at the time were parents. And so we all thought about it in terms of what would we want our kids to get in a kid's meal. And as parents, we said, you know, we'd want either character development or educational kid's meal premiums. We'd love to help educate our kids or develop character in our kids. So we went in that direction. A lot of our current suppliers thought we were nuts. They thought nobody will go for that. Kids just want play value. And we said, well, even if we're nuts, it's the right thing to do and we're going to try it. And so sure enough, uh, about 10 years later, we're the only company out there that rivals McDonald's in terms of kids' meal sales per $1,000. We're neck and neck with McDonald's in terms of kids' meal sales. Chick-fil-A's purpose reflects its values and culture and has a powerful influence on the way Chick-fil-A does business. We train on what we call second mile service. First mile service is clean restrooms, hot waffle fries, a warm greeting when you walk in. Everybody expects that and you're paying for that, you know. A lot of times you don't get what you're paying for at fast food restaurant, but we want to make sure you certainly get that. But then we are working on trying to go above and beyond by treating our customers with honor, dignity, and respect. And it helps us fulfill our corporate purpose, which is to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that's entrusted to us and to have a positive influence on all that come in contact with Chick-fil-A. This level of commitment to religious values is reflected in a number of ways. For example, all Chick-fil-A locations, whether in a mall or a standalone restaurant, are closed on Sundays. The uh, policy of being closed on Sunday goes back to 60 years when my father, Truett Cathy, opened his first restaurant in 1946. It was a 24-hour day restaurant. And I don't know that he really made up his mind to be closed on Sunday until it got to Saturday and he was just worn out and exhausted and say, you know, let's just, uh, let's just fold our tent, you know, today. And, uh, Dad had grown up in a boarding house and he knew he never liked to wash dirty dishes on Sunday afternoon. And he didn't like the idea of asking other people to do that which he was not willing to do himself. So he uh, closed the restaurant on Sunday. We've been closed ever since. Dad says, and I'd have to occur, it's the best business decision he ever made. But we do more business in six days than any of our other food competitors do in seven. And I like to tell people, uh, our food tastes better on Monday because we're closed on Sunday. People are the cornerstone of all that Chick-fil-A does as a chain. To encourage restaurant employees to realize their potential, Kathy established the Leadership Scholarship Program, which places emphasis on a restaurant employee's community service and leadership abilities. Since 1973, more than $21 million in scholarships have been awarded. Chick-fil-A at Camp Creek, we use the scholarships as a benefit to get employees in our door. We um, use it as an offer for the team members to let them know that it's an extra benefit for them to come in and work with us because they will receive these scholarships. I am a recipient of the Chick-fil-A Scholarship Award and I'm just trying to give back to my community what has been given to me. Chick-fil-A's successful growth can be attributed to the outstanding leadership and hard work of their restaurant operators, seasoned with a generous portion of faith. Eat more chicken, but not on Sunday. <laughs>